Hey, this is Scooby Doo Doo, and I'm gonna show you how I like to um, split my movies in half because on YouTube there's like a 10 minute, um, oh, there's a 10 minute limit for your video's length. So, um, yeah, so I have this movie right here, which was for the um, jQuery intro, and you'll notice the video is like 1918 in length. So, to split the movie in half, or like when I had the Photoshop mock-up and it was actually a four-part tutorial what I did is I opened up iMovie HD because I found that one to be the easiest it was easier than iMovie 08 mainly because it has the timeline right here and it's easier to export it and split it and all that fun stuff so if you don't have iMovie HD and you have a legitimate copy of iLife 08 you can download it for free off the Apple website and it's like 156 megabytes so it's not too big and it installs easily and you can find it in your applications folder under let's see where is my movie here we go we have iMovie previous version and there it is I just have mine on my dock okay so I'm just going to take my movie and I'm going to drag it into the timeline right here and this takes a while, it took a while last night, it says about 10 minutes, so I don't, I can't give you an average on how long it'll take on your video, just wait for it to finish. So I'm going to pause the video while I wait for this to finish, and turn it back on. Okay, so it just finished importing, and you'll notice that the black screen has changed to the, end, the beginning of my video, and I have my little video clip right here. So to um, get this where you can split just click on the timeline button and you'll notice we just now we can see the entire video and I'm going to make my video smaller using these little thumbnails because it makes it easier to drag and I'm going to stop this video at about 9.52 because I think that's where I stopped it at on the actual video so that should be good right there and well, now I can zoom into it and I can get more precise position on this. I'm going to stop it about right there, okay? And now, just right click and choose split, clip and playhead, and you can't see anything here, but when you click over back over here, you'll notice now you have two videos. One is way longer than I want it to be, so I'll just undo that, come back over here to 9.52 so it should be just gonna make this smaller. Okay, I think you got the point, right? I'll just stop it there, just so I can go ahead and do this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Okay, so now we have our two clips again. And to export this, um, iMovie HD will not automatically split each clip into its own video. And I don't think you can do that from everywhere that I've looked on here. So to do that, we're going to want this clip first, obviously, because it's going to be part one. So click on your second one and click delete, okay? No, you don't want to save this and close the program. You don't, you just want to delete it and go up here to share for QuickTime. You'll want this for full quality. And I'm going to save it to my desktop, or I would normally. And yeah, and just save it as like I have it. Is jQuery Ooh, part one okay and you click save there and it would export the movie just like it imported you see the little dialog here saying exporting movie and you will see it on your desktop right over here and after it's done exporting it'll um I like to just go over here and click undo now delete that then delete the first clip and do the exact same thing when you export and you'll have two video clips and they're both going to be really large so then I recommend using iSquint to compress your videos and I have another video on how to use iSquint to compress my videos so if you want to learn how to compress your videos with iSquint go check it out so if you have any questions about relating PHP, HTML, CSS, programs, Mac or Mac specific programs um, or you want me to give a review on a program that I might have, 
um, send me a message somehow just contact me via com um, let's say a comment on a video or a personal message message thanks for watching